Going for backdoor pits. Medina heading that same direction. Wide open. This thing is a cave. How about that? Ah, uh, you said it, Joe, earlier. Medina's Houdini on his backside. As we take another look at Gabe here. All right, back. Look at that. Look how deep he is backside. I mean, I don't even think he grabbed his rail on that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing kisses to the panel, to the crowd. Did not get the chill. Oh, Gabriel. Gabe Medina says, yes, please. And Medina. Long wall pulls it to the barrel. No grab. Grabs on the way out. Three-time oh, world champion. Nice. Gabe Medina. Yeah, we can see it in slow motion first. And then it gets cash right here for the pump. Then gets all casual, no hand behind, and then he's like, you know what? I better make sure I get this. So gets back into the grab rail position, tripod stance, Megan, and gets the completion. We're still waiting for that. Taking the championship tour last season, but suffered an injury before the first stop, and we didn't see him compete on the CT, but he was good enough to fight his way back on the Challenger Series, and here he is giving it another go. But Medina, he is going to kick <laughs> off his campaign here at the Rip Curl Pro in fine form. Love the extension here as he just exploded out of the lip. The hands, the upper body steering the uh, direction of the air, the lower body following. Oh. Big vertical with the tail drift. Throwing out a nice carve. He can make it into the double up and create some space for an exciting hack to finish. Read that better than anyone and now it becomes into a full wave. He goes up early though, that's a secret and he comes down in complete control. You know, this could have just bucked him off there, right? It could have just... I think what Medina you said... has got the best recovery. Yeah, about going up early on your backhand is pretty important. Ten-point ride, Akira, at his rookie debut, won the Triple Crown almost accidentally when he was just shadowing Kolohe and Dino. As we get back into this one, second effort for Medina. Nice, solid opening snap, big section, goes up quickly. It was a little messy there, but he stays on his feet. Little rapid cutback, similar looking type of wave as his opener. And he'll extend the backhand flow just on his ability to balance while in awkward positions. He could pull that one down. But he almost starts with his big peak and then has that transition wall, just like his opening 717 connect well in the first turn and kind of had to feel his way through that second point. I feel this is stronger than his first ride. I think the first turn here is just more critical. Uh, he gets his board right up there, 12 o'clock, Rich, and um, you know, as you said, this next turn here, you, you, it's nearly like he just sort of jammed that one in. It wasn't even there. No, somehow manufacturing uh, another few points out of the ride here. But he's left nothing to chance. He's left nothing on it. He's extracted every little last piece of juice out of this. And this last, uh, as he sets up this finishing turn, even now he, he gets he gets one more kind of nice little lick in here, sets it up beautifully. <laughs> That's a strong turn in its own right. But this finish here, Joe, this is for, this is dynamite. Look at that positioning, completely sideways and oh. committed and somehow gets that board under his feet. Yeah, this is going to be super exciting watching those two women go at it. Two natural footers with uh, no more goofies left in the women's. As we see the goofy standing here, Gabriel Medina crushes the first opportunity. Sets up another beautiful vertical hack with the tail release right back up to the top again. Will fight through the third turn and just force the finish on the end section. How does he stay on that surfboard? <laughs> Unbelievable. Ooh. No mistakes for Medina. No falls in three strikes in this final. Puts himself in a position to perform. He sure does. He's just getting stronger as this event goes on. What a time to peak and, and reach this second turn here. Look at that. He goes vertical once again. Oh, just, man, he sat on his heelside rail setting up that bottom turn for so long. A little bauble there, but kind of cleaned it up and got to the finish. Uh, and you can see Griff's uh, doing some pretty special stuff outside as well. But he's taking off so deep on the peak at the moment and, and really setting up these backhand hooks right up in the pocket, man. He's just look leaning on it, leaning on it, drags it out, now attacks, gets it right up vertical, gets all that release and pivot off the lip. And the, uh, the you know, the, the back half of his board was completely disconnected from the lip of that... Uh, from the lip of the wave on that final maneuver, somehow gets back into position to, to land the finishing turn. 
So impressive, Gabriel Medina. Looks like he's improving on his lead. And time for the Medina Show. 17 championship tour wins, already one of the all-time greats on page one of the all-time win list. Throwing some water to star. Nice controlled power surfing off the lip. Little air drop. Floats the next section. And rips the lip off that one. How's that extended reverse? All with flow, all with style. Comparable to Dora's version earlier today. Climbs over the white water and now separates some water off the face. Into the inside corner, doesn't want the pit. Can he grease the alley-oop? He goes corrupt and gets it. <laughs> good when the competitors area downstairs from us look the competitors lining the basin are also going pretty nuts and take another look such a fun wave to break down because you're seeing him really start to tap into that energy that consistency that we're so used to goes for that layback that they you know dipping into the playbook of yagadora that we saw earlier today that reverse on that section but extended and a lot of amplitude in that maneuver high risk high reward that's what gabby's looking for shuffles back with the feet so he can get back on the open face watching a couple combos decides to go for this preference right here so much speed too joey there's like no there's no breaks in between he's going at everything with such a high velocity he goes for that double hand grab right there flips it around so fun to see the variety that this guy has and, and just what he can dip into in his bag of tricks. So impressed with that version of the corrupt. Like you said, so much speed. Medina up and riding on this left. Big moment for Gabe. And the surfer from Maricias in Sao Paulo. The Brazilian three-time world champ, former world junior champion. Looking to once again claim the highest stake here at the surf ranch. Good start for him. Pacing himself. Great layback there for Medina. Goes for the reverse. He's going to pull it with these. Comes around the section once again. Just resetting the feet. Another throw tail reverse. Great variation by Medina. A difficult wave to surf here. And he is just blitzing down the line. And you know that he's going for the corrupt flip. There he goes. Sticks to the alley oop and he'll pull it. He's like, what else do I need to do, guys? Just give me a nine already. Uh, that's funny. I, you know, it's funny when sometimes he does that shrug claim, the bounce back right here. Look at that layback snap and hooking it and then straight into that and comes out with speed. See the footwork there. He had to shuffle back because you rotate, you put everything up into the front of the board. It does it again. So uh, how many turns, you know, and he still looks like he's just cruising and doesn't fit it in so easily. Here he skips the barrel and we have seen the corrupt flip. Didn't get the grab there and somehow <laughs> figured it out. Just actually pulled his hands tight and uh, spun super quick. Watch this. I mean, he's gonna, it looks like he's going to go for the grab. Did not. We've seen it and just realized wow. didn't get quite the pop, but somehow stays on it and just lands easy as. His back foot came off too right there, Pete. And Medina up and riding on this left. Big moment for Gabe. And the surfer from Maricias in Sao Paulo. The Brazilian, three-time world champ, former world junior champion, looking to once again claim the highest stake here at the Surf Ranch. Good start for him, pacing himself. Great layback there for Medina. Goes for the reverse, he's gonna pull it with these. Comes around the section once again, just resetting the feet. Another throw tail reverse, great variation by Medina. A difficult wave to surf here, and he is just blitzing down the line. And you know that he's going for the corrupt flip. There he goes, sticks to the alley-oop and he'll pull it. He's like, what else do I need to do, guys? Just give me a nine already. And uh, spun super quick, watch this. I mean, he's gonna, it looks like he's gonna go for the grab. Did not, we've seen it and just realized, wow. didn't get quite the pop, but somehow stays on it and just lands easy as. His back foot came off too right there, Pete. And Medina waiting for his second right. Heat, I'm excited. This is a huge moment in this heat. He's looking better just a mid four at the moment. Crucial start right there. Great snap in the pocket. A lot of spray. 
And he's going to set up for the initial barrel section on the outside. The performance zone starts right here, and he's in the pit. Deep. Still in there. And he's going to come out. Down carb to start things off after the barrel. Once again up into the lip right there. That's better. Looking for the variation, though. That's where he fell off the last time. Wow, that was impressive from Magina. Once again, a lot of spray. How's that stall for the barrel on the end section? And he's coming out with ease. Throw tail reverse to finish. And wow, he is hotter than a blowtorch right now. Looking at better, just a 4.67. Wow, he did that. As we watch the replay here from the drone angle, looking down the basin. And uh, he was one of those backsiders that could just understand the speed control needed for the length of the barrel and the depth of the barrel out here. He had those mis that mistake on his earlier right, mm -hmm. right in this zone, but not this time. Throwing that little extended arc, throwing spray way out the back, the kick stall bottom turn. Again, depth is there, and then of course he's going to make the finish right. The tail whip reverse glides out of it, no worries. Look at this technique. Look at the score. You said it. Excellent surfing, Peter. Eight points. Well, there you go. So now look at the number. It's uh, out of reach. Unless uh, he improves on both waves. Both waves. Wow. Najina just going to town. There's a reason why he's feared out here. People see him come up in the draw and they're like, okay. Catching over 10 waves now. Setting up the punts. Gets there early for the big rotation above the lip. But looks like Medina wants to keep things rolling. Catching over 10 waves now. Setting up the punts. Gets there early for the big rotation above the lip. The magic man, Gabriel Medina. And he'll swing and keep hitting. Medina misses that one a little bit. And then he'll look to, well, he'll grab the rail and be a little bit in front of the barrel. Now he'll get some cover oh, and he'll yes. force his way out. Up in high in the lip there. And then Gabriel behind him, so blast uh, that first turn. Spray just going skyward. And uh, this wave grew as it went down the line as well. You just hardly ever see Gabe fall too. He's so, so sure-footed. He's just, every wave I see of him, it's just unbelievable on the edge. And you think he's going to fall, he makes it every time. Yeah, and there's an excitement to the way that he approaches the wave. How he made that floater midway through is incredible. And for this point, right here, you're kind of like, oh, he's kind of blowing it a bit going for the tube. And then he, you know, miraculously finds that little end section barrel ride. And a uh, little false start, but then he goes, okay, it's going to go now. Gets in that pig dog stance. And just tucks up nice and high. Picks that perfect moment. Gets the little doggy door. Signals to the judges. Let's see if he can pick up in the lineup. Medina. There he is, Gabrielle. Entry just easing himself in and a vicious first hit. And doesn't need to do much to display so much water. Another hack from him. Look how deep that bottom turn is. That's ridiculous technique as he just throws all sorts of spray into the atmosphere here. Medina again so sharp and aggressive. So much fizz into the lip that time. <laughs> and Gabriel Medina just showing us slight variations on some aggressive. He knew that was good. He knew that was good. I mean, the spray the guy throws is unbelievable. It just for the gets, way. Yeah, gets straight on it, doesn't he? Look at this, straight back on it again. Deep bottom turn, just slicing off the top. And uh, he's just giving it, when he does these re-entries, he's just putting a little extra spice and flare, tail drift, that one in particular. But he's giving himself the time and the space on the backhand to be able to do that full wrap and uh, we haven't really seen, I mean, the goofy footers have been on display today, showing us, you know, remarkable stuff. But I feel like Gabriel's just turned up the volume ever so slightly. Yeah, every turn his back foot is pushing out as hard as he can on his toes. And um, as a goofy footer, it's incredible to see. I mean, look at the sprays, right? Oh, this is just uh, poetry in motion here. And Gabriel Medina, well, he's already, he's had a win at J-Bay and he wants another, but there's more at stake. You know, Gabriel wants to make his move into that final five position. And 
defender just blasting the lip there and scores in. The John John Florence and Medina this year. Also Italo until J Bay oh. as we catch up with what just happened. Wow. Gabriel Medina taking off so deep, riding the foam ball and just gets spat out of that one. Just absolute mastery there. He had a lot to deal with. He really got stuck on that foam ball. You can see how much it like affected his board there, but he just came flying out of that one. Just absolute mastery there. He had a lot to deal with. He really got stuck on that foam ball. You can see how much it like affected his board there, but he just came flying out of that one. What a cool memory looking back. Medina stalling, setting up the cave. How about that read from Medina? It looks like wow. he's got the exit. Looks <laughs> at the tower. He can do anything he wants out here. Well done. The water patrol loved it. Standing ovation in the boats. That was phenomenal. Where he took off, his patience and timing was next level. Here we go, we look at the replay, so deep on that one in the beginning, gets covered up again, behind that second section, and you can tell that he's feeling good. How Jiao must be thinking, you know, he's just sitting on the sidelines, wonder if he's watching this heat go down or if he's just totally unplugged. And Yeah, what would you do? I don't know. I don't know what the right thing is to do. I mean, you got to think he's... Oh, my goodness. Late takeoff, Medina stalls super deep. He'll ride away right on top of Seth Moniz. What an effort there, but right to business to try to regain priority. Seth is in a tougher position. Up, he doesn't have to duck dive. Strider, how are they looking? <laughs> and then right after it, the real wave was there and Medina was on it. That was a sick wave. Wow, what a crazy back and forth. Good man was. Flick, how about that entry? Yeah, such a late drop there from Gabby. Drives through that section, comes from deep. I mean, he's doing it all. Great heat IQ, sold Seth the wave. Owen Wright had some poetic retribution on Gabe Medina, who he uh, who beat him in 2018. Here we go with Medina. Low to the board, solid in the stance, comes out of the barrel, no problem. You could tell the technique he is able to employ for him. Taking a look at this first one from Gabe Medina, and again, you see he's looking down the line, trying to understand where that speed control, he saw his hands almost go down, it didn't actually put the brakes on, he just let it go and stayed through the hole the whole way through and gets two rips off the top too, engaged in uh, this one. You can see how low he starts and pumps through there and then goes high for the exit and then always mindful of putting a nice little bow on it to wrap it up with a couple of turns. So true and again looking at it right there from the reef looking in you can see that two three foam balls he had to glide up and over so stable on his board he definitely rides for his size higher volume style surfboards and it's perfect for this type of surfing here and gliding over those foam balls and yeah. still so strong to be able to just rip into it with that extra volume you know and again it looked like the opportunity that way it was a three or a four on it and uh, he surfed it up in a sense by getting a 4.17 so good job there by baron here comes Gabe, way back, plowing through a cavern and comes out, no problem. Gabe Medina <laughs> over the foam ball, score that. Oh, uh, wow. And again, one of those things where you're like, is he going to make it? It's kind of, you know, it's gone. There's not a whole lot of room in there. And sure enough, right out of the hole, too, right out the center of it. Check it out right there. It stalls it and then pumps underneath it. The wave fills up with foam, and wow. somehow he actually stalled back there and gave it a little extra drama this is another great angle to look into it pete pump right there and foam ball goes over the top of that fills up with more foam he's not seeing anything he just knows where the exit is and he was just going to keep the momentum <laughs> flying out the end surfing by braille gabe medina that sixth sense so impressive one more look from the drone again just the the pumping up and that's that forehand you know you get this speed so easily because you can wait and delay it and then get the extra pump and speed. So hard to do on the back end. Oh, this one from the water. Over the foam ball, into more foam, and then filled with foam. <laughs> a latte. And that was a foamy latte. And looking at one more time, slow motion. Let's celebrate this one, Pete. That's right, all angles. And look at the score. Nine point ride.
That would be in the excellent latte range there for Gabe <laughs> Medina. <laughs> Look at the judges, too. They're pretty straightforward on those nines. Yeah, flat nine, one judge went eight, seven. 